Hi Joss, how you doing? Morning everybody. Uh, welcome to the City of Peter Mini Hockey Live session. This is our second week. Uh, just wait for more people to sign on. Give them a chance. I know we're bang on time, but that's good for me for once. Uh, and then we'll make a start. Uh, just for those of you that are joined now, um, can you make sure that you have um, at least three codes or objects, okay, and then two hockey sticks or barriers, okay? You obviously need a hockey stick to play with, but your second item can be uh, a barrier or a bit of wood or a stick or a hockey stick or just something else. So three cones, um, obviously you need your hockey stick, you need uh, one ball, okay, and then you need uh, another barrier or something. You can use a line of shoes if you want, it's just something that we're going to be able to lift over today, okay? So I'll give you a couple of minutes to find that stuff. Once we find that stuff, we will uh, we'll start. Dave, how are we doing? Team was ready to go. Okay, guys, if you just joined us, make sure you have your hockey stick, make sure you have at least one ball of any sort. Uh, you need three cones or three items, just stuff to dribble around, uh, and you need another hockey stick or stick or barrier, use a line of shoes, just something that we can able to put the ball over, because we're going to try and lift the ball today. Uh, William and Max are ready to go, excellent, that's good. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so guys, welcome to the CTP for Mini Hockey uh, live session two. Um, if you missed last week's sessions, don't worry, that is available on our YouTube channel, H4UA, so you can just go away and watch that. It's also available on the Mini Hockey Facebook page as well. Um, today we're going to look and continue more dribbling, okay, but we're also going to start to move our dribbling into a little bit of 3D lifting skills, okay. Don't worry if you can't do that. Uh, but also if you find it too easy, okay, we're going to show you ways of making it slightly harder. All right, so we're going to start, first of all, uh, like we always do, with our warm-up, okay? So you need your hockey stick for this one, but you do not need a ball, all right? And all I want you to do is I want you to randomly put out your cones, okay, and make sure you know which one's which and colour coordinate them, okay? So I've got a yellow one here, I've got a blue one, and I've got a white one here. Uh, the bigger the space, the better this is. Obviously, don't make it miles away, okay? But you can increase the space a little bit bigger than what I've got here, okay? So we're going to start with a warm-up, very similar to last week, okay? All that's going to happen is I'm going to have um, I hold my stick with two hands, all right? I'm going to get into the hockey position that I spoke about last week, so nice and low, back uh, kind of straight, knees bent and feet wide apart, okay? Once I'm in this hockey position here, okay, my partner will call a combination of colours, all right, uh, if you haven't got a partner, you can just call the combination yourself. So the combination is going to be blue, white, yellow. So I'm going to go over to the blue cone, and my left hand is going to touch the blue cone, but also at the same time, the head of the stick is also going to be on the floor. Okay, so this doesn't count. All right, I've got to get to the cone, put my hand down onto that cone or object. Okay, two hands on the stick, head of the stick on the floor, left hand on the target, and then back to the middle. Okay, then my next one was white. So I'm going to do the same thing on the white, hand down, back to the middle. Okay, then it was yellow, backwards, same thing on the yellow. Okay, so if I do it quickly, you'll see how it works. Down, down, down. Okay, ask yourself, what sort of position is that? Okay, okay why well, am I going to do that in a hockey game? All right, it's a block tackle. Okay, we're working our legs here, all right? Your legs should start to hurt. If your back hurts, 
because we're not bending our legs. Okay, we've got to bend our legs and get down to the target. So a different combination, yellow, white, blue. Yellow, back to the middle. White, back to the middle. Blue, back to the middle. The bigger space you make of this, the harder it is to do. Okay, you're going to do this for two minutes. I want you to do it three times. Okay, have a little bit of rest in between, like I need now. Morning to everybody that's just signed in. We're just doing our warm up at the moment. Okay, so just scroll back on the on the time and see what our warm up is. Uh, use the opportunity, guys. Just make sure if you want a chance of winning an eleven hockey stick, all you have to do is send pictures or videos of yourself doing this or other uh, skills that you're doing at home. Send them into us so we can post. We've had three entrants so far, so that's not many to win an eleven hockey stick. One lucky winner. Okay, just as we're rounding up that, and just as we're finishing our warm up, okay, I'm going to show you how we're going to set up the next drill. So you're going to need three cones for this one. And you're also going to need your ball, your hockey ball, okay? I want you to set up your cones, your three cones in a straight vertical line, okay? So three cones in a line out in front of you. And then we're going to start with our ball, the orange one, okay, just behind the first one. Uh, only one personal, Rachel, because we can't give away about 20 sticks, unfortunately. <laughs> can't afford to. Um, okay, so we've got three cones in a line here. All right, we've got our hockey ball. Okay, again, we're getting into that hockey position. All right, so feet wide apart, ball out in front, back nice and straight. Okay, and all we're going to do is we're going to do a figure of eight. Okay, and we're going to try and move the ball in and out of the cones, round the top, and then back to the start. Okay, so through here through there, round the top, and then backwards on yourself. As you can notice, I'm still facing the same way. Okay, so we're going through, through, round the top, back, and back. Okay, the backwards ones are actually quite difficult to do. Okay, if you've noticed, I'm not moving with the ball. Okay, so when I'm bringing the ball to one side, my feet aren't moving across to that side. I'm keeping my feet nice and still. This means I'm working on my hands. Okay, it's my hand speed that I'm working on here, okay, my body's nice and balanced and staying where it is, and my hands are doing all of the work with the ball, okay, keep yourself nice and still, obviously the quicker you go, all right, round the top, back on yourself, okay, you can go straight into the next one, you can even go the other way, just for mix it up a little bit, okay, I'm moving my feet when I'm having to go forwards and backwards, I'm not rocking side to side, okay, so I'm coming forwards with the ball, Alright, and then I'm moving backwards with it as well. You've got to move backwards with it because that helps you keep the ball out in front of you. Okay, try and do it nice and quickly. Try and avoid the cones if you can. Alright, dribbling backwards, quite, quite a difficult one, quite a strange one to get used to. Okay, give that a go. A couple of minutes giving that a go. Cones out in front, figure of eight, round the top. Okay guys, just while we're giving that a go and we're going through that, just another little thing to remember. Whilst you're going through, okay, make sure you keep the ball out in front of you, but to test you even more, okay, whilst that ball's out in front of you there, okay, we've got to make sure that we're only using one touch 
to bring the ball back across. Look how I'm using one touch every single time I'm taking a touch on the ball, the ball's moving in a different direction. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to sort of take three touches or tap it through. Okay, because the more we tap it, the more chance we've got of messing up. Alright, use one touch, one, one. So we're always changing direction with the ball. That's just making sure that our hands, okay, are getting used to moving the ball in different ways. Alright? So I'm taking one touch, one touch, one touch. Okay, bringing it back round all the way to the start, always taking one touch to move the ball. Okay, no, not lots of little touches, big drags. Okay, one more minute on that and we'll move on to the next drill. Okay, once we've given that one a go, we're now going to set up our cones like I have here. Okay, so you need two items in the middle here that are reasonably close together, and then you also need two that are much, much wider apart. Okay, so two in the middle, two on Do not make them too big because you need to be able to reach each cone without moving your feet. The smaller it is, the easier this drill is. The bigger you make it, the harder it's going to be. Okay. So, um, one thing that I'm really, really keen on, uh, and anyone that's been coached by me will, uh, you probably already realised this already, is uh, the hand speed. Okay, so hand speed, getting used to moving the ball with our hands, all right? This is a really, really simple drill to do at home. Okay, really, really good to do in a small space. Uh, but it can be easy if you do not test yourself. So you've really got to test yourself here. Do it as fast as you can. Do not, it doesn't matter if you mess up, okay? If you make a mistake, it does not matter. Nobody else is around, nobody's watching you. So make loads of mistakes because that's how we learn and that's how we improve and get better. Okay? So again, getting into that hockey position. And you're going to start with the ball in line with one of the middle cones. Doesn't matter which one, but it's going to be in line with one of the middle ones. Okay? For those of you that did the sessions last summer, we did this, uh, did this out in the garden. Okay? All we're going to do for five seconds, and if you've got a partner, they can count for you. Okay? If you haven't, you can just count yourself. We're going to dribble the ball between the middle cones as fast as we can, okay? So we're just gonna take the ball from cone to cone, okay? For five seconds, you count that loud, so one, two, three, four, and five. When I start to go six, and start to count to 10, okay? So six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So when I go six to 10, I'm gonna dribble the ball to the outside cones. So one to five is the middle ones, Six to ten is the outside cones. Okay, so we're getting used to going from a small drag straight into a big drag. Okay, what you've probably noticed already is that my stick doesn't leave the ball. Okay, so I'm keeping contact with the ball the whole time. I'm not taking my stick off to drag the ball from side to side. I'm keeping my stick nice and close to the ball. Also, you don't have to move your feet. We're working on our hands. We're getting our hand speed nice and quick. So eventually, okay. We can do it really, really quickly. All right, big drags on the outside. Notice how I'm not moving my feet. Oh, I've just missed that one. And 10, okay? Now, I've got to do it that quick to test me. See how quick you can do it, all right? If you find it too easy, do it faster, all right? Make it bigger, okay? Really, really test yourselves. A few minutes on that then, guys. Five seconds in the middle. Five seconds on the outside. Uh, morning to Kimberly, Andrew, Stephen, David, Sam, Brady, Donna, morning to you guys. Guys, if you haven't liked the video already, please like the video. It just you know gets up the views, it makes sure that more people see it after it's finished. If you haven't shared the video, feel free to share it to your profile, give it to any friends that you know.
Okay, just do that a few more times, guys. Uh, morning, Charlie. Hi, Frank. How you doing, mate? So if it's too easy for you, make it bigger, guys. Make the whole thing bigger. All right? Uh, we're going to make a slight change now. Okay, so we're going to advance the drill. Make it slightly harder for some of you. If it's too hard, carry on with that. Remember, we're just working on our hands, getting used to moving the ball from cone to cone. Five seconds on the middle, five seconds on the outside. Okay? What we're going to do on the middle cones now, okay, the left-hand middle cone, all right, we're going to move that up, okay, so it's further forward now, so we've got the two wide ones still, but the middle ones are now offset. We're going to keep our feet in the same place, but now we're going to move the ball at a different angle, okay, we're now going to move the ball forwards, all right, so instead of obviously moving the ball side to side here, we're going to go forwards and backwards, okay, look what I've done with this arm, all right. When I was here, I was keeping this arm nice and back here, my elbow back here. But then when the ball's out in front of me, I've moved my elbow out to the side. So I've made a point with my elbow, and that allows me to move the ball up and down. Still not moving my feet, okay? But I'm just getting used to moving the ball forwards and backwards. For five seconds, and then we go straight back into the longer drags, okay? So there, straight back into the longer drags. If you really want to, just to make it even harder, you can move this right hand cone back as well. So when we start doing this one, we then go into this one. Okay, play around with your cones. All right, five seconds on the easy one, five seconds on the wide one. Okay, move your cones around, experiment with that. Two more minutes and we'll move on to the third and final drill. Caroline, Phil and Tom are on it, excellent. You do the practice, Phil, to be fair. No go scoring in this one, mate. Uh, morning, Naomi. Janet and Trev, how you doing? Okay guys, last drill. So we're going to move on to the last drill. We're going to come away slightly from the hands because next week we're going to move on to something else as well. Uh, and we're going to start to lift the ball now. Now make sure if you're inside, be very, very careful. It's not about how high you lift the ball. We're only trying to go over a hockey stick. Okay, if we lift it too high in a game, it'd be too dangerous. All right, also, if you're inside, be very careful with windows and things like that. So all we're going to do, I've got one cone here on my left-hand side. All right. And then over to my right, I've got two cones that are just slightly in front of this white cone, okay, with my barrier, all right? Now, if you don't want to use cones, that's fine. I've only used um, cones so my stick stays upright, okay? But you can use your barrier, whatever you're using, the line of shoes, just something to lift the ball over the stick, okay? Now, all we're going to do here, okay, to start with, if it's, if it's really difficult, all I want you to do is practice the lift over the stick, okay? So forget the cone on my left-hand side, I want you to try and lift the ball, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to get behind the ball, okay, so if I just draw a line on my carpet from where the ball is, all right, I'm making sure that my feet are behind that line. Not too far away because you still need to be able to reach the ball. Okay, my feet are behind that line there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the weight on my back leg here. Okay, so if you notice I'm leaning on this, this back leg here. Imagine there's something underneath that hockey ball that you need to get, okay, but you can't touch it yet. All right, so how do I do that? I'd be able to sit, sort of look underneath the ball and try and see what's underneath there. If you notice, your hockey stick, when you do that, okay, leans all the way back. All right, so now you've got a nice open face just behind the hockey ball there. And then what we're going to do is as we go towards the hockey ball with our stick, we're going to stay nice and low and we're going to scoop the stick underneath the ball to lift it over. Okay. If you're struggling to lift that ball over, okay, what might be happening is before you've lifted that ball, you may have moved forward first. Okay? Now, 
Now watch what happens to the face of my stick as I step forwards. All right? My stick's now gone nice and flat. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to lift that ball. You have to start lifting the ball as you move forwards. Okay, so before you transfer your weight forwards, you have to try and lift the ball before that happens. Remember, it's not about how high we lift the ball. Okay, we're just trying to lift the ball over a stick. All right? If you find that really easy, okay, if you don't find that easy, carry on doing that. If you find that easy, we're going to go from a drag into a lift. So we're going to involve our white cone now, okay? All I want you to do on this one, all right, is we're going to start in the middle, okay, we're going to move the ball to the white cone, we're going to drag the ball back, and then we're going to go into our lift, okay? So we're starting in the middle, we're going to go out, across, lift, okay? Now, slight change on this one, okay, and if you're struggling to lift this one, or if you're missing the ball, or if you keep chucking the ball into the barrier, okay, what I want you to try and do is as you move that ball back across towards the lift, okay, go to the side of the ball. Don't go to the back of the ball. Go to the side of the ball to lift it. Just for you guys that can see on camera, look what the ball does when it gets to the side of my stick. Can you see it? Can you see how it, if it hits my stick, go to the side of the ball, look how that ball rolls up your stick slightly. See that little bubble that the ball's doing there? Okay, that's because I'm going to the side. I don't want to be going to the back, okay, straight over the other side. And when that ball hits the side of your stick, that's when we're going to go into that lift, okay. Time it, so when it hits your stick, we lift the ball, just bear up there, lift the ball over the stick, okay. So just quickly, drag, lift, All right, drag, lift, okay. A couple of minutes to give that a go. that really easy, okay, just to make it even harder, I will challenge you, okay, if you've got more space, can you lift the ball over the stick, all right, but keeping the ball on the end of the stick, so we're not chucking it over and then running after it, okay, we're carrying the ball over, so it's in contact with our stick, okay, so can you, just to make it even harder, drag the ball back and then carry over the barrier, okay, so you notice how that ball was glued to my stick as I brought it over, drag the ball, Carry, okay, keeping it on your stick, all right, making it even harder. Remember, guys, if you're struggling to lift it, go back to the first one, okay. Okay, once we've done that guys, just the last one, last development of that skill, we're going to move the stick to the other side. Okay, so now we're using our reverse stick to lift. Okay, again, if we're just getting used to lifting the ball over, because we're beginning, we're just starting off to lift the ball, start actually just with the lift to get the drag. So I've got the white cone on my right hand side now, so get that one. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to lift the ball now with our reverse. So my stick's going to come over the top of the ball, okay, and I'm going to use my reverse stick to now scoop underneath the ball and lift it over. You might find that this lift, okay, on its own is actually easier because we're using the hook part of our stick, okay, we're using this part, the end of our stick here to lift the ball and it's a lot easier to get underneath it there. Just make sure, and this is on both lifts, you have plenty of space. Remember that line? Okay, we've got a line to the ball. My feet are behind that line, okay? I'm not to the side of the ball, I'm not trying to lift the ball behind me. I'm behind the ball, I'm nice and low, I'm scooping underneath. Once you've got the hang of that, we can add the drag. So we're going to start in the middle, okay, we're going to go out to the right, across, and then we're going to lift the ball over with our reverse stick. Okay, remember getting to the side of the ball to lift the ball over. Okay, drag, drag, lift. Alright, and for those of you that are finding it really easy, see if you can carry it over, that'd be really impressive. I'd love to see videos of that. Okay, there, across, carry. See if we can carry the ball over. Okay, guys, that is the end of the mini hockey live session. 
some really, really good drills for you to do there in a small space at home. I'd love to see pictures and videos of them, so please, please send them in for your chance to win and the level one person to win an 11 hockey stick. Uh, give all of those a go. Next week, we're going to move on to something a little bit different. We're going to involve a little bit of passing. Hope we'll be able to get outside and have a bit more space so I can show you some passing techniques. Um, just lastly, if you need a copy of this video, if you know anyone that's missed it, okay, it will be available on the Mini Hockey page, but also on our YouTube channel, H4UA. If any of you are interested in doing things like this in private, okay, or sent more videos from us, have a look at our Hockey for You Academy membership. But also we are currently doing online hockey sessions. So just ping us an email asking about those. They're available to book uh, during the week. So if you're interested in doing this, just uh, me and whoever's playing hockey, let's go for that. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Have a great Sunday. And I'll see all of you next week. Thanks very much.